The name's Poe. Poe the Panda. And I am the Dragon Master. Everybody, shut up. And action. Let's talk about a new Kung Fu Panda series called Kung Fu Panda The Dragon Knight, which is a series released by Netflix not too long ago, and this series is basically about two mage weasels, like, so two weasels who are mages, they came from England, and they are criminals for attempting to take the queen's life. And now they're on the run from the knights, while at the same time they are hunting for four weapons that are in China, to our knowledge. And these weapons are extremely powerful, four of the most powerful weapons ever created. And for some reason they are the weapons that caused the unified world Pangea when the, all the continents were combined in one. The, these four weapons is what caused it to split apart. These four weapons are that powerful, and that's why the owners of the weapons hid them for safekeeping, never to be used by humans or animals in this case ever again and now these two weasels have come trying to get these weapons and pretty quick they get one and this great star dragon master yep Poe the panda the dragon master immediately loses his title after destroying a couple villages yeah so basically these two weasels came stole the weapon and disgraced our hero Poe the panda and now the journey of the series is for Poe to team up with a knight that came all the way from England hunting down these weasels to team up with her to try and capture these weasels and prevent them from taking the four weapons. For starters, this series was pretty interesting and fun to watch. I mean, it's kind of weird uh, to hear Poe the Panda be called the Dragon Master instead of Dragon Warrior. I don't know where that name came from. Probably from the other Kung Fu Panda spin-off series that came out a long time ago. I forget what it was called. But there were a couple of spirit series and I think this might be related to that and that's how the Dragon Master title came. I never finished that series, but... I'm assuming that's where it came from. Hopefully I'm right. It just feels weird to hear it called Poe the Dragon Master instead of Poe the Dragon Warrior. I mean, it's weird, but it is what it is. Moving on from there, the story the story in its entirety had its ups and downs. There are, it's, it's actually a pretty interesting and captivating story. Uh, watching our Poe work out to try and be friends with a knight who's a pretty stubborn character trying to follow a knight's code. It's filled with plenty of plot twists, some expected, some not expected. Uh, the characters were pretty interesting. The wheels themselves are a blast to watch. They're hella funny. They're really great characters. They're villains, but they're great characters. Poe the Panda, the Knight, they're all great characters still. It's kind of iffy to watch Poe with up the Furious 5, but like, overall, the entire story was pretty interesting to watch for the most part. There are times where you're like, what the hell am I watching? But like, for the most part, you're going like, whoa, that's sick. And uh, the move of this show is obviously filled with some crazy fights. The animation, pretty great. Not, not too bad, not too bad. Uh, I mean, at times it was kind of iffy, but like, for the most part, it's like, oh, yeah, this fight is going crazy, boy. But, like, for the most part, you're really enjoying this show. It's pretty captivating. The characters are great. And the show introduces us to a bunch of new side characters who all are funny and all right. So, for the most part, you're watching a captivating story and laughing on the side because it's a pretty funny show at the same time. For the most part, I really like this show. Another thing I really found iffy about it, though, was the voice acting. I mean, like... It didn't sound like Poe to me, but like, I mean, I guess it's because I haven't seen Kung Fu Panda in a long time, so maybe that's why it was iffy, but who knows, who cares, it was still a really interesting and captivating show, I mean, just watching Poe trying to befriend this damn knight who is really stubborn about following the knight's code, and being all stubborn about how, oh, knights don't have friends, oh, I don't need to team up with you, and all that, it, it's just really funny to watch all that, and then the pl some of the plot twists that come uh, near the end are pretty, uh, are pretty surprising. And you also meet various new characters, and then at the end it kind of leads off onto seeing Poe kind of develop further for a potential spin-off sequel for the series. For the most part, the show was interesting to watch, seeing Poe disgrace his title purposefully because he has to in order to protect China, and in doing so he's angering the Emperor for kind of destroying the country that he was sworn to protect being the dragon master and all that and because of that this uh show is while they're hunting down criminals they're being criminals being hunted down by the emperor of china which is honestly pretty funny to watch in its own right there are various new side characters that i said that we see in this show which have their own comedic aspects i mean for the most part it's a nice story and a really really funny story and at the same time a really stupid story 
This show is really fun to watch. It's only 11 episodes long. It was pretty fun. I liked it. I mean, overall, I rate this show a solid 72%. It was fun to watch. It was great. I liked it. I know every Kung Fu Panda fan out there will like this show. It's fun. Kobe C. Po continue doing, continuing to be a Kung Fu fanboy, uh, comic book fanboy, and we're just still being fanboys about Po the Panda. But yeah, for the most part, it was a great show. It was captivating. I liked it. It, has, it had its ups and downs. But yeah, it's a show that you should totally check out if you love the Kung Fu Panda series. If you didn't like the original Kung Fu Panda movies, then don't really check out this uh, series. It's not really for you. But if you like the movies, this one's for you. So yeah, with that, that's all I have for you guys today. Let me know down in the comment section below if you've seen the series, what do you think of it, what do you like it, what do you rate it, and with that, that is all I have for you guys today. So don't forget to drop a like and hit that subscribe button for more movie show and anime related content. I'm BT, the king of TV, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!